Interior CS Fred Mashangi has deported 17 directors of companies involved in gambling activities in the country. The foreigners, mainly from Eastern Europe, are said to have engaged in other businesses other than those stipulated in their work permits. The deportation came four days after the government ordered telecommunications companies to shut down paybill short codes operated by betting firms. The government has also warned commercial banks, mortgage finance companies and microfinance institutions on non-renewal of licenses and permits of 27 bookmakers and lottery operators. This is to bring to your attention that the Betting Control and Licensing Board has not renewed operating licenses of certain bookmakers and lottery operators for July 1, 2019 June 30, 2020, Central Bank of Canada Director Gerald Nyalma said. The firms were asked to renew their licenses to net those that have been evading to pay taxes. The companies affected include Sport Pesa, Button, Bitway, Betpa, Superdollar, Premier Bet, Lucky to You, Ones Bet, Moz Art Bet, David Bet, Bet Yatu, Millionaire Sports Bet, Palms Bet, Bongay Bet, and Bet Boss, among others. At the weekend, President Uru Kenyatta said the government would not relent in its war against firms that evade taxes. He said gambling firms had an obligation to pay taxes and some companies even allow children to bet. Most firms have, however, said they have been paying taxes as required by law, with some going to court to seek redress. The Association of Gaming Operators has disputed the amount the government has said betting firms have not remitted as taxes. Association Chair Ronald Karori said the figure is way below what the government is demanding.